Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Rotarians, it is a great honor for me to introduce to you to an extremely important cooperation that has evolved between Rotary International and UNESCO IHA Institute for Water Education. We are in Delft, the Netherlands, the only international graduate school in the world uh, in water, with a view to train the next generation of water leaders. Water problems are very, very important in all over the place, but particularly in the developing countries. What hinders development there is essentially the capacities that are missing. So the principal objective of our institute is really to train the next uh, generation of water leaders. And we are very proud uh, of that partnership that has evolved between Rotary International and UNESCO IHE to train future leaders uh, in areas where they are needed the most. My name is Soko Likenechku. I'm from Anambra in Nigeria. My specialization is hydraulic engineering, river basin development. Seeing projects that, are, that will have minimum environmental impacts when they are being implemented in Nigeria because a lot of them are being conceptualized away abroad and when they are trying to be implemented we see a lot of faults in them because it's been done by professionals that are not really locals. So we go about spending a whole lot of time to review and condition the project to suit the con and to fit the conditions and ground. The knowledge here will, will play a big role in planning and designing these projects to suit the conditions in Nigeria. Eh, mi nombre es Gonzalo Duro, nací en La Plata, Argentina, y estoy haciendo una especialización en ingeniería hidráulica y desarrollo de cuencas. Tenemos eh, problemas con inundaciones en la provincia, principalmente en las zonas eh, de agricultura, es decir, que impacta la producción del país. Eh, la producción de energía es deficiente, es decir, no podemos igualar la demanda con la oferta y en Argentina hay muchos recursos hídricos todavía por explotar, por lo tanto los proyectos a implementar eh, pueden ser un, eh, un, digamos, una, una buena apuesta para el desarrollo del país, así como también digamos que es un recurso renovable y por lo tanto digamos eh, la contaminación que pueden eh, introducir no es tanta como la que la energía térmica y, y, y otras producen. La especialidad eh, nos entrena en el diseño de estructuras sobre ríos, eh, entre las cuales está el diseño de presas y demás. Por lo tanto, digamos, como les decía, el, eh, el control de inundaciones, eh, la generación de energía, se puede abordar con estas estructuras. I'm Godfrey Peterson Baguma. I'm from Uganda. I'm doing an MSc in Municipal Water and Infrastructure specializing in sanitary engineering. 37% don't have access to safe and clean water. And the sanitation is way below that figure. So there's still a lot to do to ensure that the 37% have access to clean water. It's going to solve a very big it's going to contribute a lot to solving the problems in the country because the information they are giving us is really so good and uh, they're giving us things that are practical that we can apply in our, in our country and we see a direct impact in improvement of the sanitation to achieve the Millennium Goals. Uh, my name is Arjuma Yusuf Aineni. I come from Mombasa in Kenya. And my specialization here in UNESCO IHE is coastal engineering and port development. Uh, in my country, we do have a number of problems, but key among them is the problems on uh, flooding. This comes about as a result of poor drainage system. We also do have scarcity of water, and uh, pollution of water is also another area that is really affecting my country. The, the MEC program in UNESCO IHE has come in handy to improve on my skills on research and I do hope to extend these skills in trying to solve these problems.
My name is uh, Tamasgan Adam Adam. Uh, I came from Ethiopia. My specialization here in uh, UNESCO IH is water resource management. I have an agreement with my Rotary Club to uh, work uh, together to combat the uh, water and sanitation problem in my country, especially in uh, my area. There is a, a high problem of water and sanitation, so uh, I have an agreement uh, to apply my profession, to expertise my profession and to solve some of problems with uh, my uh, Rotary Club. So I'm Vanessa Samoa from Ghana and I'm specializing in sanitary engineering. I chose sanitary engineering because of the problems we face with sanitation back home. We have problems with both solid waste management and wastewater management. The solid waste management is rather polluting the water to make it become waste management problem. So I chose this so that when I go back home, with the knowledge I acquire here, I can help with what they've already started to better the water resources in the country and the environment as a whole. My name is uh, Jimo Rafiu from Nigeria. I majored in hydrology and water resources in the Department of Water Science and Engineering. As we know, Africans, we have a water and sanitation you know, problem in reference to groundwater pollution, and uh, that is actually the area in which my you know, specialization is very relevant. And uh, predominantly, um, sanitation has been a major issue in Africa, in which you know, we tend to see a way we can you know, solve the problem. And basically coming to IAG, I believe my knowledge is uh, adequately needed in my country in order to solve water and sanitation you know, problem. Okay, what's uh, important for us as uh, Rotarians involved in this partnership is not just the fact that Rotary provides money uh, to support these scholarships for 24 students over a three-year period, um, but that we also provide support both in the home country, as you will have heard uh, from the students themselves, but also during their stay in the Netherlands, where each student get assigned a host counselor, which is a local Rotarian in the Netherlands, who makes sure that the student feels at home, not just in the Netherlands, but also within the Rotary family. This is for me really a Rotary at its best. Uh, we're combining the knowledge gained at UNESCO uh, with the Rotary network, with the Rotary funding to arrive at sustainable solutions for water management and water sanitation. This program just started in October last year and we're really at the beginning of something very nice and really the best has yet to come.